in this video which is part 10 of this series we're going to put in a new task here i have this already done if i press here on add task you can see it will move down immediately so let's start to look how we can force it to move down right now so now in part 10 of this series we're going to fix the issue where we, when we insert a value it will always push it up we want to make sure that it goes down here so let me just show you what was our issue so if i click on this add task look what happened it should go down here so let's fix that so how do we fix that well, let's go down we scroll down all to the bottom and this is just part 10 so make sure you you continue on based on previous code from part 9. so what we need to do here basically because this push here for some reason charge has doesn't respond accordingly to that so what i can do is another way to do it it's by saying for example here data and then we say here index number nine because we already have nine values here so the next value that will be in here will be the ninth value because we start with zero and then we're going to say equals to and we can just remove all of this and now if i save this ignore that refresh with your abc just select some dates quickly pending at task there you are you can see it adds at the bottom now however this is of course not what i want because this is hard code so how do we soft code this well all we can do here is just basically this we can do a console log we're going to count the length of it so if i grab this including the data and we say yeah dot length we should get a value now if i press on this open up developer tab you can see here we get a value of nine that is where we started here so what i'm going to say here uh constant uh, array length equals this grab that put it in here save refresh now let's add up the value there you are and then we add another one there you are so this works nicely now just one more time of course this needs to be unique if you have a double it will be on top of each other and you get this very weird response so make sure it's always a unique value here but if i do this you can see it this is green and we get here the value so this is all working now nicely. So the next video we're going to focus on this. We're just going to convert this into a drop down here with the names in here. And so we have a drop down with the names that we can assign it to. That will be the next video.